all right now that you have uh, read the question and maybe probably tried to even solve it uh, let me take you through the solution of this question now how i go about solving any question which is math based is i take each part of the question individually and try to understand what it's all about before proceeding to the next part so i'll do the same for this question as well so here uh, the first thing i know is there is a tank whose area is 75 meters square uh, i don't know the length or the breadth of this tank all i know is there is a tank and its area is 75 meters square so let me draw that first before i go to the next section so what i'll do is i'll probably just draw a rectangular tank i don't know the length and breadth of this tank and i will draw this tank here certain dimensions so this is the tank right this is the tank and uh, its area is 75 metric square or rather 75 meter square uh, and it is being filled through a pipe in diameter uh, 200 millimeters in diameter so this pipe is uh, not necessarily a part of this tank it's being filled uh, through a pipe which is 200 millimeters in diameter uh, so i will leave this aside now and uh, i will just show that okay there is a pipe here probably and uh, the diameter of this is a pipe diameter is 200 millimeters all right so we will do that and uh, proceed further now what they are saying is the alleg is 1.6 meters so alleg is 1.6 meters so let me just fill it up with uh, uh, so it oil right so i will i will use a uh, blue doesn't matter all right so i will use blue and i will fill this up with oil this is my oil all right and the current alleg is 1.6 meters so if the current alleged is 1.6 meters, that means this height here. Alleged is the uh, space left after loading. All right, so this is 1.6 meters is the alleged, is the current alleged. So you can see how I'm taking each part of the question first, trying to understand what's going on before going on to the next. So take your time, uh, draw diagrams. I always tell everyone that you must draw the diagrams uh, uh, to understand any math-based question, because if you can draw it, then you can visualize it you can solve it quicker all right then you have to calculate for how much longer the tank valve should be left open to obtain an alleg of 800 millimeters so you have to reduce the alleg that means uh, i'll use a different color pen here so you have to fill the oil even more right you have to fill more oil here uh, to reduce the alleg to 800 millimeter that's half of what you have right now all right so you have to find out how longer how much longer you have to leave it open to obtain an alleged so first you have to find out how much oil you have to load right so let's get started so what i'll do is uh, i will find the difference in the alleged difference in alleged so my original alleged is 1.6 meters and my alleged to be obtained is uh, 800 millimeters so this 800 millimeters should be converted to meters or the meters should be converted to 800 millimeters either or all right so what i'll do is i'll first convert this to millimeters so this will be 1600 millimeters because one meter equals uh, 1000 mm if you didn't know that i'm sure you knew that you guys are smart so so my difference in alleged so my difference in alleg will be 1600 millimeters minus 800 millimeters i have made it the same unit right so this will be about 800 millimeters or you can convert it into meters by dividing 800 by 1000 and that will give you 0 0.8 meters all right now find out what is the volume of the oil to be loaded now this 0 0.8 meters is this height here this is 0 0.8 meters that is the difference in the alleged right so to find out the volume of oil to be loaded how much volume of oil to be loaded what you do is area multiplied by height 
that's the volume in a cylinder right so what you have you have the area already you have 75 metric square is the area 75 meter square and the height to be loaded is this height here because that that if you load to that height that's that's much how the alleg will be reduced then the uh, the alleg will be reduced to 800 millimeters right so your original alleg is 1.6 meters then you will load by 0 0.8 meters more the height of loading will be 0 0.8 meters and then only your alleg will be 800 millimeters or 0 0.8 meters will be remaining that's the objective to obtain an alleg of 800 millimeters so your volume of oil to be loaded is 60 metric cube here all right so volume is always metric cube you can see here meter square multiplied by meter will give you metric cube 75 multiplied by 0 0.8 is 60 metric cube all right then you have to fill now you have to find out how much oil can you load using the pipe to do that you find out the area of the pipe so if you know how much oil you can load per second you can find out for how much longer you have to keep this uh, pipe or the valve open so area of the pipe because it's a cylindrical pipe you have pi r square all right so it doesn't say anywhere it's a cylindrical pipe but it's a pipe you know and uh, the diameter is given the diameter is given it's uh, pi r square all right so that is the area of the pipe so area of the pipe is pi r square pi is equal to 3.1416 and uh, diameter will be uh, rather r is radius so your r is radius this is a pi this is called pi it's a constant i don't know if you have seen the movie life of pi so it's a constant this is constant values 3.1416 radius is always half of diameter so if your radius is 200 millimeter your uh, your diameter is 200 millimeter your radius will be 200 by 2 which is 100 and because it's a square we will do it twice right so your area of the pipe will be 31416 uh, meter square or if you want to convert it into meter because my volume is in meter what i will do is 31416 divided by 1000 multiplied by 1000 because it's metric square uh, millimetric square so you have to divide it by 1000 twice all right because above you see above here we have only 800 mm so we divide it by 1000 once but it's met millimeter square so you have to divide it twice so the answer in uh, in uh, answer in meters will be three one four one six right divided by thousand divided by thousand again so you can write it as zero point zero three one four one six that is metric meters right so if that is the area of the pipe and uh, uh, you have to load and the sorry the rate of the flow of the pipe is 1.75 meters per second right so it can load 1.75 meters per second so how much so if this is the area so volume of oil that you can load using the pipe volume of oil loaded per second using the pipe so now you know the area of the pipe so and you know the rate so the rate is so this will be 0 0.031416 that is the area of the pipe multiplied by the rate is 1.75 per second right so that is so this will give you 0 0.054978 this is loaded per second this is the volume of oil loaded per second all right but now you have to load 60 metric cube right so 60 metric cube will be loaded or you need to load it right so you need to load 60 metric cube so if you are loading 0 0.054978 metric cube per second to load and this is per second to load 60 metric cube you have to uh, so how much time will it take so 60 multiplied by 0 0.054978 which will be equal to 1091 seconds 
or you can convert this into minutes by dividing it by 60 so 1091 by 60 is about 18.2 minutes so you will have to keep the valve open for a further of 18.2 minutes to uh, load the required volume of 60 metric cube all right so because you are loading this much metric cube in one second so how much time will it take to load 60 metric cube so you will divide it you get 1091 seconds 1091 seconds divided by 60 will give you the same answer in minutes so this is converted to minutes all right so you get the idea now how to do a question in cargo work if similar question comes to you uh, you can see what i did i started off by drawing the diagram started by visualizing what is happening and that helps me to solve the question easier because once i can visualize what is happening then i can put it in the context of the maths calculation and understand what to do all right so let me know what you thought about this video guys and thank you very much for being exclusive members of my channel bye